Hello and welcome back to this video tutorial. Now, what we're gonna do now is can be quite confusing. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go really slow here and try to to make sure you understand this. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna add a, a PayPal button so the viewers can buy the product. Now to do this, all we need to do is go back to our folder, the folder we created at the beginning of these tutorials. This folder, right click on the index, okay, use the index one, right click and open with Google Chrome. Okay, the reason we need to do this is because we're going to need the link, okay, to this button. So to do this, again, in the site showing on Google, right click anywhere on this button and copy image URL. So you copy that. Next, we're going to go to our WordPad in this case. And we're going to paste this link here. Now, to make this link work, because we're going to need this for PayPal, we're going to just go from image, okay, from the image folder there, we're going to take, oops, we're going to delete all that until there, okay. And what we're just going to add here instead is going to be the domain okay so the domain in this case i'm going to use um obviously our domain here we already got page here live but we're going to use this domain okay now we're going to back here to our wordpad we just paste domain the domain like so okay there it goes so this is the link we're going to use it just in a minute now let's go to paypal now in PayPal, you need to log in, okay, and once you log in, you go to Merchant Services, and then you come down here and you go to Website Payment Standard, okay, this is a free service, it's just your PayPal account. Now, if you don't have a PayPal account, then open one, which is a free account anyway. Now we click that, and now we go our buttons. So we're going to create a Buy Now button. So we click on Buy Now button, and now here is what we get. So we get product name so in this case is get your dream girl that will be our product name here and here we're just gonna add a rodent number to identify the product and price we're gonna go for say 47 this is just an example uh, then we scroll down and we're gonna add US dollars okay now this is the first part. Now the next part is we want to customize our button to look like the one we go on the site. So we're going to click here to customize. Click on the arrow and this will expand. Now down here use your own button image. So we tick this box. Okay. And now he asks us for the URL where the button is. So remember we just created this URL to direct to that button. So we copy that. Okay. And we put it there paste it. Now that's done, we click create button. Okay, now PayPal gives us this code, select code, we copy. Now we go to composer, where is we've been needing to our website, and this image we no longer need it because we just needed that to create the link. Now we have the cursor, where the cursor is, we leave it there. Then we go here to insert and we go to HTML. Okay, this box open, you paste your PayPal code there and you click insert. Okay, now all we need to do is click save here. And now we go back to our folder. Okay, and we're gonna open again with uh, Google Chrome. We're gonna scroll down just to make sure the PayPal would show here, okay, it's not appearing yet because we haven't published the site. So in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and publish the site and make sure everything's working as, as it should. So thanks for watching.